Okay, so we're back with part four, and so let's just go over what, where we are. So in the last session, we uh, played around with the movement stuff, but didn't get that fully working. We're going to put in a dash, but we did put in a transition to go into the air. And now we can fly. So what we want to do now is have a land animation, okay? So if we press E, so if we press E again, sorry, while we are in this um, mode, we are then going to go down. Because right now, if we keep pressing E, we'll keep going up, up and up and up, because it keeps launching us up. So let's go set that up. So edit the dragon BP. And here, where we press the input action, we're just going to have a flip-flop. Okay, so if we press it once, it's going to do all this. If we press it again, it's going to do um, the opposite. So we'll just grab this and control cv to copy it. Most of the code we need is going to be here, but we're going to have to change some bits and bobs. So... We don't want transition to flying here now. We want transition to landing. Okay, so we've got a new variable. We're going to bring that in and set it to be true. And we're going to delete that. So we haven't set up these animation states yet, so there'll be no animation. And then we want to launch character minus uh, 1,500. So it gets down to the ground again. And we want to set the movement mode to walking. And then we don't want to do this. Um, and then we want to get rid of that and that. Okay, so we also need a variable for walking. And let's compile all that so we can get access to it. Right, so we need to plug in the character movement. So just grab that and plug it into the target. There, compile that. Okay, we don't know if these delays are right. We'll have to look at the animation, but I'm assuming it's a similar timing. Um, so let's go into the animation blueprint. So in your Dragon Animation folder and go to the locomotion part. So when we're in the flying, it's at this point we want to add a state and it wants to be trans transition to walking. Okay, and we only want to be able to do that when we're flying. And then that can come here because that goes back into there, right? So we need now to set up these rules. But before we do that, we've got to get the variables we've just created. So we want to get transition to landing. We also need to get walking. Okay, and then we'll call this trans to land. No, we'll drag out from the red, sorry, promote it to variable and call that trans to land. And we'll promote that to walk. Okay, so we'll plug all those in and then go and set up our transitional rules, compile that. And then go back to our locomotion. We've got a compiler error because we haven't set these up. So when what is the transitional rule to go between flying and transi transition to walking? Well, we want to set trans to land to be... So get, is that equal boolean to be true? If it is equal to be true, uh, and or, in fact, what we'll do is we'll also set flying to be false. So get fly, copy that. And then that wants to be false. So if those two things are true, get an and boolean. Plug that into there. Plug that into there. So let's just make sure we're doing that here. So we're setting transition to land to be true. But we also want to set flying now to be false. So make sure that isn't ticked. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, so now we should get that transition to land. So let's go and place an animation into that. So go to locomotion, uh, transition to a walking, and then we actually need the 
landing animation. Um, so let's just go and find out which one that is. Uh, falling, fly, hit, hit, stationary. It's fine. Right, I'm just going to pause the video while I find the right animation. Okay, so it's this animation, which is the fly animation to stationary. Okay, so we need to just go find that. So just type in station. So fly to stationary. There it is. Plug that in and hit compile. And then we've only got to set up this one last transitional rule. So when do we want to transition from transition to walking to idle run? Well, that is when we set um, the uh, trans to land to be false and walk to be true. So drag out, uh, get an equal Boolean. So that we want to set that to be false and we want to set walk to be true. Just check to see if walk is true. So false, true. Get an and Boolean. that in and let's just go and make sure we've set that up in here so we've set flying to be false transition to be land to be true and then we want to set transition to landing to be false and we want to set walking to be true and we'll we'll have a look at those delays in a second and then hit compile and then compile in here and we get no errors. So let's let's go and test that. So press E to get into the air. And then E to get back down. Okay, it's not as smooth as I would like it to be, perhaps. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So now we've got that full loop in, so we can transition between the both states, the flying state, and we can land. All right, excellent. So, uh, so the next thing, let's check the time, how much time we got left. Okay. So let's, let's start by um, adding an attack. All right, so when we're on the ground, when we're on the ground state, we have some a claw attack, so let's let's check that. Okay, I think we can try using that. So go to the Dragon BP, come over here and create a variable called attack on ground. Attack. I'm going to use capital letters here on ground. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to check to see if we are on the ground. So, um, yeah, but we need to create a button for, uh, press for this. So go to the blue, uh, go to settings, go to project settings, and then go to inputs, and then create a new input, and we're gonna call this fucking on the ground. And we want this to be on the mouse button, left mouse button. You can put it on whatever you want, but I'm just going to put it on there for now. Um, and then we'll go back into the uh, Dragon's BP. And then we want to call that a event that we've just created. So attack. Attack on ground. Attacking on the ground. So when we press left mouse button... Um, in fact, we might be able to do, we might change that to just attacking because we might be able to do it with the same button for both. So if that's pressed and we, um, well, for just for starters, we'll just get it set up. Okay. So we're on the ground and we want to uh, attack on ground. We want to set that to be true. So when we press that, we want to we want to set that to be true, but we want to do a branch. Make sure that walking is true, and then just to make sure that that's all going to make sense, 
we need to at the event begin play so we need to create an event begin play so just right click and type event begin play place that up here and i'm going to drag a sequence off there because i know we'll probably need some more stuff coming off there later and then um we need to set so when when the game starts we want to set walking to be true to be true and then we also need when we transition to make that false so uh, transition to flying walking set is now false on that one okay i'm also just gonna that so it actually says what i want it to okay so i'm just going to drag that down there okay so here we are checking to see if we are walking if we are walking and you press this um then we want to uh do this attack so set attack uh on the ground so go back to locomotion and we only want to be able to do this from this state so drag out add state Attack on ground. Okay. And the transitional rule for that, we need to go to the event graph first, drag out, and we need to get attack on ground. And we want to promote that to a variable, and we'll call it ground attack. We can't name it the same thing. All right. And then plug that into there, just like so. And then compile, and we got an error because we haven't compiled this. So go back, compile that, and that, that will fix that. Um, and then we've got to do this transitional rule. Now we need to go back to idle walk run, so drag out a line to that as well. So the um, we need to make sure that ground attack is true, that's all. So get ground attack, equal boolean, drag that into there, tick that to be true. And the transition rule back is if that is false. So when ground attack, get ground attack, equal boolean is false. But we aren't ever setting that to be false. So let's just go back to the Dragon BP. We need to, a delay here that's going to be the length of the animation. So let's, it's, called, it's this one. So let's open it up and see how long the animation is. It's 1.67. I'll just hide that. So I'm going to do 1.5 in my delay. And then we set this to be false. That way we'll get our transition back to the idle. Now go back here, go to locomotion, double click on this, and then actually find the... Right, so what we can do, now we've got this selected here. If you select this here, and then go back and open up your... Not that. Go back and open up your Dragon Blueprint. Um... Can we not just add it? Oh, we I would have thought we could just add that, but it doesn't seem like I can. Can I just drag that in? Yeah, I can just drag that in. And then plug that in, hit compile. So now when we hit left on the mouse button, there he goes with his attack. Now there's a problem here in that this has slight bit of root motion on it, you see. He's attacking. But then he's returning back to his um, his root position, right? Um, now, if we we're not going to set up root uh, motion animations for this because it requires us making montages, learning about slots, and we're going to do all that sort of stuff in another tutorial series. So what we need to do is just pick a different animation, uh, one that doesn't have any movement in it that stays in its position. Uh, so let's just hit play. That one looks way better. So what we'll do is we'll have that selected. We'll open up our uh, Dragon Blueprint. And we'll drag that one in instead. Okay, that's not the right place. Drag that one in instead. Plug it in. Save. And then give that one a test and see if that works out a bit better for us. Yeah, that's way better. Now... We can still move while we're doing that. So you might want, you could do a blend. Let's try a blend, see how that works out. 
So uh, go into the animation blueprint, delete that one, hold down Alt and click on the little do to disconnect them, and then bring in your uh, walking blend space the speed into the speed variable and then drag out and type layered blend per bone Move that over there put that into there that goes into the blend pose that one goes into the base pose and then we've just got to uh, get to the option we need so click on this little arrow this little arrow again then this little plus then this little arrow and then we get to the bone name where we input the name here so <clears throat> let's go to our content folder Desert Dragon, Meshes, and here's the uh, skeleton asset for this. So we we want to blend. I've never blended on this dragon before, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick those spines. So we've just got to spell it exactly as it is here. So I think there's a little dash, then spine. Yeah, I've got to put in Desert Dragon underscore spine. Okay, so desert dragon underscore dash spine. Let's let's try that. Get to the right place. So desert dragon. Oh, it was. Yeah, underscore. Oh, come on now. Get me to the right place. Underscore dash capital S spine. The blend depth is going to be three, and I'm going to use mesh space rotation. That's what I use for humanoid, so we'll just give it a try. Go to the animation preview, set the speed to be 400, so he's moving, and then click on uh, ground attack. I'm not blending it at all. There's no actual blend there. Go into the game and try it. Oh, no, it is blending. It is blending. Okay, so now we can walk and attack. All right. Which looks awesome. All right, that looks very good. And if we go into the air, we can't attack. But we will be able to soon because we are going to put on fire breath. It's going to be awesome. Let's check the time. Okay, so we'll leave this one here. In the next one, we'll add the flying attack. 